Today's quick video is on USB-C adapters. All new phones coming out now are switching to USB-C. It's a great technology with great features like faster data transfer and charging capabilities, but it leaves many of us stranded with all these micro USB cables and accessories that we can't use anymore. So today I'm going to show you some adapters you can get that will solve your problems and also some things to look out for when using these. Here are three adapters I bought and tried and while they all look like they should work the same, only one works the best, another is missing an important capability, and one actually caused issues with my phone. When you buy one of these adapters, whether it's these ones or some other brand, there are certain things to look out for. Because they are not all designed with the same quality, you can end up with poor performance in terms of charging and data transfer speeds. In some cases, the adapter can damage or brick your phone or device, so we need to test them to make sure they work well. This first one is pretty bad. When I used it with my phone and laptop, it started causing weird behavior in my phone and it wouldn't charge properly. The second adapter is good, as it offers good transfer speeds and charging capabilities. One way to test the charging is to use a USB tester like this. Make sure your device battery isn't fully charged or hot, then plug it in and leave it for a minute or so to settle down. Then check how much current is passing through. Note that the charge controller on the phone will dictate how much current passes through. But assuming your battery is not full and is in optimal charging conditions, the controller will let in as much as it safely can. The more the current, the faster the charging. Charging standards for USB specifications can be seen here. Another factor affecting the rate of charge is the cable. Not all cables are created equally, so you will want to test your cable as well. Take these three cables for example. They all have different charging capabilities. Another thing to note is that USB-C specifications allow for higher rated charging and data transfer capabilities, but because you are using your older USB cables and devices, it will not exceed these cables original specifications. But in terms of allowing you to continue to use your existing cables and devices, it's a good compromise. One thing that this adapter does lack is on-the-go capabilities, or OTG for short. Because of this, I'm not able to use my micro USB infrared camera. Either this does not fully support OTG, or it does not provide power that the IR camera needs. The third adapter is the best, as it has all three capabilities. So when you look for an adapter like this, you want to make sure it has proper support for charging, data transfer, and OTG. Now aside from the technical details, what else might you want to consider? Here are two additional features I think are good to have. First is to have a way to easily bring it around with you. So having these key rings or clasps allow you to conveniently attach them to your keychain. Definitely a handy feature. Second is how big they are. See how far they stick out? These do not flex and you wouldn't expect them to. If you're not careful, you can easily hit this against something and cause the adapter to get damaged and stop working. That's the reason I bought this one, as it was smaller, but it turned out to be a dud. So there you go, some quick and easy info on micro USB to USB-C adapters. If you liked this video, check out our other videos on our channel. We have a variety of topics that may interest you. And as always, more details about this video can be found in the video description.